Welcome back, everybody, to another food review here on Food Central TV for the first time in like three months. <laughs> I think the last video I did was the Nightmare King. Uh, yeah, it took me about three months to, you know, for my body to recuperate from that green bun. It really messed me up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, just a lot of stuff was going on in my life. Not a bunch, not nothing bad, really. No, nothing bad at all. Uh, I did get married last month, so that was kind of a. A lot of stuff going on there. I had to plan, you know, wedding stuff, bachelor party, things like that. And uh, I also was out of a car for about a month and a half. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a, a big chunk of why I didn't have a car. I was on my way to work. Off day, actually. Wasn't even supposed to be there. I was going to pick something up. Uh, some lady was trying to cross over the road. Not lady. She's younger than me. Uh... <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving these pointless details. Anyways, she was trying to go the other way, didn't see me. I drive this big black Chevrolet truck, somehow didn't see me. Boom, and she hit me. So it was her fault. A month and a half, I was out with a car, and then I had some other issues with the car getting it fixed. Finally got it back on Friday, like this past Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a long time. And also, I started coaching for a local high school team for bowling. So that's also been taking up a little bit of my time as well, but enough blabbering about my, uh, you know, what what I've been up to. Y'all been here, y'all. Well, y'all came here to see the brand new. Well, it's been out for about two weeks now. The new Grande burritos at Taco Bell, and I got the five dollar box, uh, which I don't need to show you the box. It's just a bunch of wrapping. Uh, I got the. There's two different kinds. They have a three cheese nacho, I think, and also I got the chicken enchilada and we're gonna try out the three cheese one first uh the five dollar box is obviously five dollars couldn't tell by the name and but if you got them by themselves the burritos are one dollar which is always good because taco bell is always good with the prices and i forgot which one was which i think this was the enchilada one we're gonna do the three cheese one first because it i think it has those little tortilla strips and i don't want them to be soggy so let's see if we can rip this up and it's nope this is the enchilada one yep i don't know how i mix that up this one's the enchilada obviously ah yeah we're gonna eat the other one first <laughs> okay hopefully they didn't give me two of the same one because i swore that was the nacho one okay here we go we got ourselves a three cheese nacho grande burrito it's not very grande it's kind of um Trying to think of this word small in Spanish. <laughs> I took Spanish. I failed Spanish one first time in high school. So it has obviously the meat, looks like a little bit of sour cream, and three cheeses, and those little red tortilla strips that get soggy in everything they put it in. So let's give it a try the three cheese grande burrito from Taco Bell. It'll probably just, you'll, we'll see. And this tastes exactly like I thought it would. If you watch a lot of my previous Taco Bell videos, or if you're here for the first time, I say a lot of the things on the Taco Bell menu, the newer things that come out, have it's what I call the Taco Bell syndrome, where everything just tastes the same because they take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, put it together, and it's a new item. But it all ends up tasting the same, the Taco Bell syndrome. And this tastes like... The 20 other new things that I tasted at Taco Bell. The standard seasoning, you know, you get from the taco season, uh, taco meat. And we have a bunch of cheese, which it is really cheesy. It's really creamy. And they have the little nacho pieces, which got a little soggy. But they did, held, they did hold up pretty good to all the cheese and the meat. So it is okay, but it just tastes like something from Taco Bell. I got bigger. But if I had to give that one a rating, anything from Taco Bell to me, for the most part, is like a 7 or 8 out of 10. We'll go that one a 6 out of 10. Because it's really nothing special. This one, I think, has some potential because it is a little different. It is a chicken enchilada. There we go. I think I gave you a close-up of this one already. I'm not very sure. You can see a little bit of rice, some enchilada sauce, some cheese, and that chicken going on in there. Definitely smells like an enchilada, and it should, because it's named Chicken Enchilada. So let's try it out, see how it is. Chicken Enchilada Grande Burrito, which isn't very grande, in my opinion. Mm. 
does taste a little different for sure. I definitely prefer this one over the other one. For sure, one of my favorite limited edition items that I've had from Taco Bell, hands down. It has a little different flavor. It's not made with the ground meat. It's made with the shredded chicken, so it doesn't automatically taste like everything else they always make. Uh, the chicken wasn't dry. Um, what else was in here? The enchilada sauce definitely had a very good flavor. Cheesy and just overall really good flavor. I like enchiladas. It takes the messiness out of enchiladas. Uh, they Usually enchiladas, you know, they'll be filled with the meat and the rice or whatever and covered with the enchilada sauce. But this has the enchilada sauce in there so it takes away the mess and it's only a dollar so that is definitely a really good bargain we have to sneak another bite in here as well because i keep talking about it and i do like it so would i get this one again most definitely but would i get the other one never never again <laughs> uh i really i really did enjoy that one so on a scale of one to ten what i said uh taco bell things usually is seven automatically I give it another point for being a dollar, and then another point because I really like it. So that's, what, 7 plus 2 is 9. So I give that one a 9 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. I think I'm going to have to come back another day and try another one of those. I like enchilada, so that was like pretty much almost an automatic liking it kind of thing. Yeah, so obviously I did enjoy the enchilada one a lot more than the three nacho one but that's just what i think about these two burritos have you tried them do you want to try them do you not want to try them just let me know in the comment section below so as always thanks for watching and if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and if you're new here and are not subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep track of all the latest fast food videos and i promise i'm going to keep uploading i'm not going to disappear for another three months but that's it for me and i will see you guys next time on my next video connor out